And you gotta get him in there. You gotta get him good. You gotta scrub him on the back too. We're scrubbing these non-renewables today. That's what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen. We're cleaning these guys up. Now, this is a dirty fuel, this propane here. That's what we're going to talk about today. I got the larger tank hooked up over here. I want you to look on the back here. It's just listed as a non-renewable energy right here. So it gives off carbon monoxide. So it's dirty stuff, these, these propane. But it's a pretty powerful fuel. Think about this. You got to get the most out of your fuels. So we're going to use the oxyhydrogen gas today. Now they sell this stuff to these sheeple as clean energy. Think about this. And it's not. It's not clean energy. No, it's dirty and you got to scrub it. You gotta scrub these fuels. We're gonna get the ball turning again. We gotta keep the game going. Let's go plug in here. A little different approach today. I got the transformer hooked up. So I got my DC motors rolling. See, we're pulling some electrical power here. I'll show you how to burn these fuels cleaner. No, there's a lot of steak here. No, th th these fuels pollute, a, pollute the land, air, and the sea. No, it creates a brown smog that doesn't support life. And if you don't scrub it, it's not coming out clean. No, it's the least we can do. No, it's all about the carbon. The propane is a very powerful fuel. And that power can be increased by adding oxygen to it. You get different effects. You're not going to travel through space without no oxygen. Slow it down. You can speed it up. Oxygen is what gives this propane all of its power. Propane is a very powerful fuel. And that power could be increased dramatically. We're going to talk about the oxygen today and how we're using it to burn these fuels cleaner. You know, it's a barbaric fuel, it's wretched. You know, it's filthy, it's dirty stuff. about money. But well, we're going to clean that up today in today's video. We're going to use the scrubbers and the bubbler. I'm going to show you how to do that today. Some of the equipment that we're going to use. We're going to use this as my bubbler. We're going to use this side as the scrubber. I'm going to use the original reactor as it plugs in. This is the main reactor. This is my sodium carbate electrolyte solution. My power supplies. See, and the connection goes right into the side. I inject the propane right into the reactor. So it solves all these sheeple's problems. You go ahead and piss in this thing, inject your dirty fuels, and it cleans up the act. Think about that. That's why we're here today, ladies and gentlemen, to clean up these dirty fuels. I got my regulator hooked up to my standard Walmart tank. Nothing to it. So we're going to use the HHO gas, the oxygen, to power the fuel, to make it stronger, cleaner, more efficient, and last longer. Make these propane work for us. No, it's nasty stuff. They bottled it up and sold it to these sheeple as clean energy, and it never was. We're going to use it to our advantage. We're going to scrub these fuels. Power can be increased immensely.
Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to talk about the propane again. I'm going to show you how to burn the propane a lot cleaner. Got it going through my bubbler here. You can see it going through my scrubber. This is full of distilled water. The one next to it, I have it full of sulfuric acid. Mixed with distilled water. I use this as a gas dryer. So you can bubble your HHO gas through many different liquids. So I'm using a standard propane tank right now. I'm going to go ahead and slow that down a little bit. There's a little too much propane coming through there. There's my two power supplies making the HHO gas. You can see 300 watts on this side, 260 on that one. So I'm running these kind of low. Here's my regulator and my propane tank. This is your standard Walmart stuff. This is pretty dirty stuff. You gotta have a regulator to do this. See, I can slow it down using the regulator. It goes up to 10 psi. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the strength there a little bit. It's coming through a little too fast. So there's my valve. So you just inject it right into the side of the reactor. And this is why they call it a hydrocarbon. It's mostly hydrogen. It burns extremely hot. When you add oxygen to it, the propane will become very powerful. That's why people that blow glass, they do this outside. That's the best way. Right into the fuel cell. I mean, this is dirty stuff right here, but it goes in, comes out a lot cleaner. You know, that's why I have the tower so tall. Oh, well, you can see I slowed it down too much. I'm going to have to speed it up again. Yeah, it went back in. See, I just had to have it slowed down a little too much. You can tell by the brightness of the flame that the oxygen is being mixed with the propane. We can shut it off. There's no flashback. We can just switch right over to this side and turn it right back on. I'm get burned. <laughs> So we'll move on. So the oxygen makes a huge difference. This is great because we're not tapping into Earth's reservoir anymore. We're getting the oxygen right out of the water using the electricity and the power from the sun. So burning the gas a lot cleaner. You can hook this system up to anything. We'll move on. Now this is why you want to scrub those, those non-renewable energies. Think about this. You want to scrub the propane, the butane, the methane, the hexane. All these are hydrocarbons. All these fossil fuels, they're dirty stuff. No, there's no oxygen in it. Think about that. They want to bottle this stuff up. No, they're, they're taking nature and selling it back to these sheeple over here. You know, they're bottling up nature and selling it back to them. And this is polluting stuff right here. There's no oxygen in it. You can see all the warning labels on it. It's a whole different set of rules when working with hydrocarbons. It's carbon monoxide hazards. It's dirty stuff and that's why I scrub it and I use the scrubber. So I got new motors coming in every day now. Got this out of the trash yesterday. This is a, a 24 volt bicycle motor. So it's all about where you get that electron now. now it's important where you get that electricity to make the gas. You don't want to be making dirty fuels. It's pure hydrogen, pure oxygen. There's no carbon there. None of that dirty stuff. So all the other fuels are considered toxic. If you're not using hydrogen, the most abundant and simplest element in the universe,
You know, it's just harmless water. Think about that. And in the end here, they're going to use these sheep as some kind of a scapegoat. No, they're going to blame them for all the pollution. Right in the middle of this alien invasion. No, the whole thing's going to go down. They're going to blame these poor sheep. That's why I scrub my non-renewables. It's very important. You're working with HHO gas. It's all about control and power and money. You know, they're selling resources back to the sheep. That's what it's all about. So we can create hybrid fuels now. Think about this. We can use the, the hydrogen and the oxygen gas out of the water and we'll get the electricity from solar panels, wind turbines, and we'll get to that oxygen. You know, it's highly important. Two of the most abundant elements in the universe, two of the most important elements known to man. Scrubbing these non-renewables. You see a pure oxyhydrogen flame. There's no, you know, there's no pollution with this. And you see, you can see the water on the glass. But when I add the propane, it's a little different. You'll get a little soot, but nothing like you would if you burned it without the oxyhydrogen gas. Very easy to add the propane. All I gotta do is turn on the valve. You wanna store all this stuff outside. Propane's a very different gas. I'll inject it right in the side. You can see the water right there. You see it moving? I'm sending it into the reactor. You'll notice the flames start to change. So you can have molecular changes by bubbling the gas through different compounds, through different liquids, distilled water, sulfuric acid. You can even send it through other hydrocarbons. You get a lot of different results. A lot less pollution. It's still burning water, look. Very good mixture of hydroxypane coming in there. Very simple equipment. We'll continue on. You can get a, a very good effect and a lot of power. Turning the gas cleaner. The porosity. That's what the oxygen's all about. 